Hi everyone, I'm Robin from Personnel Relocations and the co-author of the book Your DIY Move Guide to Australia. Uh, Your DIY Move Guide to Australia is available on Amazon in seven different countries and is designed for people to be able to plan and execute their move by saving you money, but also helping you to integrate and enjoy your new life in Australia. Today in the Ask Robin segment, I wanted to talk about air conditioning. And you might think, oh, well, that's a boring subject. I'm going to pass, pass on this one. Please don't, because it is something that is quite important in Australia, first of all, but it seems to be confusing to a lot of my clients. And I spend a fair amount of time explaining what, it, what the different air conditioning systems are. It can also help you decide if a home is worthwhile or not. So just to give you a first, give you first a, a quick overview, in Melbourne, we have four seasons. We have four definite seasons. In winter, it's not unusual for it to go below zero degrees, and we get very, very cold Arctic winds. In summer, we'll have 40 degrees, and we could have 40 degrees for consecutive days. Now, to deal with a day that's 40 degrees, it's okay. You might go to the cinema, go to the shopping center, somewhere where there's good air conditioning. But when it's consecutive, and in these times when we lock down at home, your air conditioning becomes vital. So do listen up to this segment about air conditioning. Another reason I want to talk to you about it is when you are searching for a home online, it's one of the things that you need to take into consideration. And especially if you're in Brisbane, Sydney, Cairns, anywhere that's a very hot climate, you're going to be able to eliminate a house by looking at the air conditioning. Okay, and what you want to be doing when you are looking at and shortlisting homes on the internet is make as many informed decisions as you can. So you don't spend time driving around to houses that actually are not going to be suitable. Okay, because air conditioning is one of those things that will bring down your rental price. It will influence the rental price of a home. And all too often I see somebody saying, oh, this house is nice and cheap. It's, it's really a good, look at this, it's beautiful. Um, and I look at it and it might not have heating or cooling. Now in the state of Victoria, so Melbourne area, it is law that a house has to have heating. It is not law that it has to have cooling, okay? So let's talk very quickly about air conditioning units. A split system, and I'll show you a picture of a split system. So this is a wall mounted unit. It produces both hot and cold air. Now, if you see one of these on an advert for a home, you know that there's not going to be air conditioning throughout the house. Is it a double story home? Because if it is, hot air rises. Now, in all fairness, we do have some old buildings in Australia, some of the old Victorian terrace buildings. They have very high ceilings. They have thick walls. They don't tend to get as hot as other houses might do. So depending on the house, you might actually be okay. But when you see in an advert that it says split system, that should be a red flag to you that that house does not have air conditioning throughout. So check the bedrooms, check what there is. Okay, the other air conditioning system we have is evaporative cooling. And many, many people, and I'm going to say even Australians, say evaporative cooling does not work. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand how evaporative cooling works. You actually need to have a window open, which sounds a bit silly. You know, it's 40 degrees. Why do I want a window open? Because evaporative cooling works by pulling a draft through the house. OK, and it recycles that air. Now, the third air conditioning system that you will see is refrigerated. And that is your standard cooling system. Ducted, ref, ducted air conditioning can be refrigerated or it could be evaporative. OK, so if you see ducted cooling or evaporative cooling or, or refrigerated, you know that it's gonna have air conditioning throughout the house. Although I do so, still suggest you check because if a house has had additions put on, perhaps there isn't air conditioning in that section of the house. Okay, so for the state of Victoria, 
New South Wales and anywhere north, <laughs> you're going to want air conditioning. Um, depending on where you're coming from, maybe you're a bit more used to the heat. But it is something that influences the price. And it is something that will help you to shortlist a home, whether it's got air conditioning or not. As I say, the, the home itself makes a difference. But just use that as a bit of a guide and to help you set up a red flag if you think that the house is not going to be sufficiently cooled and it's not something that you want to have in a it's not something that you want to put up with in your home. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me on our Facebook page, or you can send an inquiry through our website at personnelrelocations.com.au. I'm Robin. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.